So, this experiment's done by Melvin Calvin. And Melvin Calvin works out the processes that occur in the reduction of carbon. Yeah. And the way he does it is he has a flask. And the flask has a valve at the bottom. And in the flask, he put, puts chlorella. Now, chlorella is a unicellular um, algae. It's photosynthetic, so it's green. So all of this in here is green. Happy little algae. And then he has a light bulb here, which he can switch on, lots of light, so it can photosynthesize. Now the next thing he has is he has a bowl of boiling methanol here. Now the reason it's boiling is to denature the enzymes instantaneously so that the whole process stops. Okay. So what he does is he switches on the light bulb, this photosynthesizes, he opens the valve and it pours into the boiling methanol. Now the bit the complication is that he adds a source of carbon dioxide. Now, he, what he adds is he adds sodium hydrogen carbonate, but the carbon, instead of being carbon-12, is carbon-14. Now, this decays and gives out radioactivity. And you can then detect that radioactivity. So what he does is he varies the time interval when the lights are switched on, and then he pours this out and puts it into boiling methanol and kills it instantly. Now, after he's killed it instantly, he takes a drop of that and he puts it onto X-ray, um, onto auto radiography paper. Not auto radiography. That's completely wrong. He puts it onto chromatography paper. Now, the chromatography paper he puts on a blob here. Now, what happens is that the solvent rises up this way and carries that blob with it and splits that blob into the contents of the blob going up that way. He then picks up the chromatography paper, he turns it through 90 degrees, he puts it back into another solvent and then that solvent rises up and carries each of those blobs and then splits that blob into whatever its constituent blobs are and that one into whatever its constituent blobs are and that one. So this is known as two-dimensional chromatography because he's done it one way and then he does it the other way. Okay, now having done that, he then takes that, that chromatography paper and he puts it onto x-ray plates. Now these x-ray plates detect radioactivity. So x-ray plates, he puts them in there for six weeks. And then he gets them out and he finds, when he develops it, that he has blobs on it. Now the blobs are where there are chemicals that produce radioactivity. And the chemicals that produce radioactivity will be the chemicals that have the radioactive carbon dioxide in them. So they'll have been the chemicals that absorbed the radioactive carbon dioxide and fixed it. Now, he, he exposed the, um, boy the chlorella to light yeah. for different yeah. time intervals before he then um, ran it into the methanol. Yeah. So he then produces chromatograms after 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, 2 minutes. And what he can see is that after the difference between the plates is that after a minute one minute, he has more dots than he has after 30 seconds. And that after 30 seconds, he has more dots
than he does after 10 seconds. And that finally, after 5 seconds, he only has one white dot. So that one white dot must be the thing that's produced first. Because that's the only thing that's got radioactive carbon-14 in it. Uh, okay. 